Hello, welcome back to another wonderful episode of the Bourbon Jamaican. And we are doing somewhat of a follow up, trying to figure out what is in this traveler. This has been a big mystery. And without further ado, I'm going to introduce Dropping Nukes, capital D, capital N. Go over and check him out. And of course, Brady. Uh, what do we got lined up here today, Chris? So we got a Buffalo Trace special for uh, to compare to the Traveler over here to kind of see and compare the notes, right? The uh, the guys they're gonna they're gonna go ahead and blind it to see how the Traveler stacks up amongst other uh, Trace products. Um, from my left to right, we got 90 proof, 95 proof, and bottle and bond at 100 proof. Um, so they should they should all drink fairly similar. Uh, we're just gonna we're more uh, interested in, in see where the traveler lands in this lineup, right? To see what the uniqueness is, right? To see if it's a, it's really got a, a blend of something that's just way out here in left field, you know? Um, yeah, I'm curious to see if it stands out like a sore thumb, right? And and that's uh, that's why we brought these to you. So. Um, they're gonna blind them. They're gonna, they're gonna tell their thoughts and, and nose and palate and all that good stuff and see how it stacks up. So I'm uh, I'm curious to see how their pilots are, are lining up because earlier today one <laughs> pilot was over here, one pilot was over here. So it's uh it's gonna be interesting to see if they match up right. Yeah, it'd definitely be interesting. Uh, on the first sip of the travelers, uh, Brady and I came to a conclusion that like your first five sips you get a different note each time and each of them is just like you're like wow it's just wow so you just you're for a for a new product it it's really extraordinary extraordinary it, it's just something you get something new with each sip and uh we're gonna see if it brings that today because i'm sure we'll kind of go back and forth with the lineup especially they're all buffalo trace so there's no really big mystery behind it. We don't know all the mesh bills, but. And thank you guys so much for watching and commenting. Uh, one viewer commented and asked us to bond it against Benchmark Single Barrel and Ancient Ancient Age. Unfortunately, we didn't have any Ancient Ancient Age, so we replaced it with E.H. Taylor Small Batch because Sheldon and I kept saying we, we felt like there was E.H. Taylor in this. So that's another note is we're very curious to see how close this actually is to E.H. Taylor. So yeah, shout out to Off Chamber. That's what I was looking down at my phone for. Um, you know, he uh, he left a comment and, and asked us to blind it with those uh, those two. So shout out to you. Appreciate the love that uh, on the Traveler video that was posted. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So we're starting from left to right. Oh, the caramel just went, bow! It just smacked me right in my mouth. Oh my goodness, this smells It's got like, a lot of caramel. It's like a dessert. It's like a, what's that, creme brulee? Yeah. It's like a pretty much, you just. It's got a creme brulee, creme brulee note. You get that yeah. burnt sugar, you get that caramel. I get a little bit, get like a little bit of a berry note. But then on the, on the sip, it's a little spicy. It's it's very viscous. It's got a, it's like it's very balanced is what I like about it. Everything you get on the nose, you get on the palate. It transitions through that spice, that caramel, that burnt sugar, that little bit of berry note. Yeah, but on the on the smell note, you don't get that burn. But on the sip, oh, it, it actually you get you get it. It's got a nice down. hug. All right, so let's get in the glass number two. This one's much lighter than the first one. Yeah, but you still get that, that caramel oh, yeah. almost. That's a lot, a lot lighter, but you still get it. A little bit of citrus. It's got a little bit of a honey note to it as well. Oh. Uh, good this is going to be a mystery mystery one it's uh it's thinner than glass one but i get like some caramel some burnt sugar again 
I, but then instead of a berry note I get in glass one, it starts to turn into a corn. I think it's, we know what this one is. Glass two, we know what this one is. Just smell it again. I'm getting smoke. You, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Each time is a different note. I think we know what glass number two is. I'm guessing. It could be in my head, but glass two, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot more char. Getting that smoky I, note. I can guarantee that glass number two is probably the traveler. It's not as sweet as glass one, but it is. It is very different and a lot more complex than glass one. But it's also inviting. It's yes. like it's a good balance, so you get all that flavor, but then also like the smooth coating. You still got. I can still taste it. Oh yeah. And it's just coating, real coating, almost like a. What, what's the term you would use, Chris? Like a, a olive. Olive oil. Yeah, like an olive, uh, olive coating. It just really, really will pace your tongue, right? So we're in glass number three. <clears throat> Nothing too complex here. I'm getting a little bit of oak and a little bit of corn. Yeah, this one, you almost taste on the back end. You get a little bit of just like your regular mm -hmm. old buffalo trace. It... It to me is like a normal buffalo trace, but a little bit spicier. Yeah. I get that baking spice, like you were saying uh, in the previous video that we filmed today, that uh, like how you were getting like an oregano or a, a baking spice kind of thing. I'm getting that, like a, like a cardamom or something like that. I'm getting that, that spicy finish. Really sweet, really oaky up front, really easy to drink, spicy on the back. Which one drank that? The I think I they all drink on par. No, uh, the similar. first one, the first one drinks a little bit more spicy. So you really can't tell the difference in the tin. No, but I wouldn't mind taking a few minutes to go through and taste them again and uh, and deliberate and then come back and, and give you all our answer. Do you think you good with that? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got them and we got to rank it for you guys. And uh, the fellows are ready to review the results. And here we go. So we're starting at least favorite to most favorite. Yep. All right. So my least favorite is green. Mine's green also. So that's mm -hmm. the benchmark single barrel. My it's about $25. Yeah. But I have to, it's a good value for $25. It, to me, it's pretty much identical to the regular Buffalo Trace. It's a little bit on, a little bit more spice, but you can find the benchmark uh, pretty consistently in in Kentucky. I know in other states that uh, people have difficulties finding them, but as a bottom shelf, grab that thing. Yep, absolutely. So my number two is blue. Mine's also blue. E. H. Taylor. E. H. Taylor small batch. Well, shit. Which means first place for both first of us. First place for both of us. There it's you the go. Traveler. It's a traveler. And as you can see, we had blind all of these. So we didn't know, but we had the stickers on them. But so is there any difference from, from you know, the reviews that you fellas did the other day to where it is today? Have you picked up on any <coughs> different note? Because I know... Both of y'all have been saying with each sip you're picking up a different note. So I wonder, you know, you you've already established your palate today with the videos that we've done previously, and it, yep. and you know you guys are in now. So is there anything that sticks out uniquely compared to yesterday? Like what's a what's that mo? I think we probably gonna have to pair it up with the uh, Weller Special Reserve <laughs> and see because it it's it's just something unique about it. And I still haven't pinpointed it because you're getting the the caramel now, and now you're getting the, the smoky. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I it's similar to when we tried it yesterday. So it's been airing out. It's been opened up for about 24 hours now, almost 24 hours. And it I still get a different flavor every sip I take, and the more I drink it. I start picking up on some smoke, and then the smoke kind of turns into a fruitiness, and that's similar to yesterday, but I mean, it's, the E.H. Taylor had more viscosity on the Traveler for sure, I'll give it that, yeah. it was sweeter than the Traveler, but if you want something completely complex, something extremely unique, 
the traveler's it. The Taylor is going to be your your normal stereotypical bourbon. It's caramel, vanilla, yeah. oak, a little bit of spice. This is just something that's completely off the wall. I know uh, one viewer had commented and said that maybe there was Wheatley vodka in it. I'm not sure about that. I don't really get a like Wheatley vodka. I get some corn on it and a little bit of ethanol. I don't I don't get anything like that. But the reason I say I had said there was E. H. Taylor on it yesterday. The tax strip that's over the top of E.H. Taylor is part of the label on the side here. I don't know if you guys noticed that. No, I did not. I noticed that. that last night, and I think that's kind of like an Easter egg or a little kind of like a hint, hint, hint. Yeah, it's a little hit that there's some Taylor in it. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I, I don't know. It's off the wall. I've never had anything Buffalo Trace that's smoky like that. I mean, it's got like a really strong barrel char to it. Yeah, but I, I think... 100% they definitely got something right here and I could see it in the future if not for 2024 even 2025 winning some type of uh, bourbon of the year or at least in the runnings for bourbon of the year award because uh, like I said it, it's just unique within its own way and so if you see it, we, it week one of the new year the driver's at the top of the list based off of their opinion. <laughs> And I really hope that it becomes the next Buffalo Trace. That every time you walk in Buffalo Trace Distillery or a liquor store or anything like that, you got Buffalo Trace and Traveler sitting on the shelf. I know that the Special Reserve is in uh, E.H. Taylor and Blands are starting to get a little bit easier and yeah. that they still are random at the distillery. But I hope this is a shelf bottle like Buffalo Trace. Yeah, and it's definitely worth the extra 14 bucks. It's 40 bucks. I'd pay that all day considering how crazy it is compared yeah. to everything else that Buffalo Trace makes. I just hope, uh, you know, everybody out there in the distribution world doesn't, they don't start jacking it up, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because obviously it's going to be a hit. It's Buffalo Trace. Everybody goes crazy for Trace. And um, and I, I'm, we've already seen a five, $5 increase. Brady going out last night. I, it's less than 24 hours. Bucks. So less than 24 hours. We've already seen a couple of liquor stores jack it up five dollars. So, uh, just say if you come across it at, at the MSRP price, and grab that thing uh, and and enjoy it. Yep. All right. Without that being said, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, thanks for Brady and Chris for always coming through on the clutch and. Uh, I'm continuing my streak for dry January, baby. <laughs> we won't be dry down. January is one Come week on down. February. <laughs> and if you guys have tried us tried this, uh, let us know. I'm I'm very entertained reading all the different conspiracy theories of what people think in this by tasting it. I've heard blends mixed with some other stuff. I've heard E.H. Taylor's Special Reserve. I've heard vodka mixed with some stuff. I Just let us know what you guys think.